This is a pink river dolphin, the largest and most colorful of the four species of river dolphins that live worldwide. The pink river dolphin is actually born gray, but as the males mature, they become pinker. In fact, the more they fight with other males over females, the pinker they become. Scientists believe the pink comes from capillaries close to the skin, but as they age, pink river dolphins often turn gray again, or even nearly white. In the Amazon River Basin, the native dolphins are called botos. Their habitat spans from the mouth of the Amazon all the way up into Peru. Over the course of millions of years, botos have adapted to survive in fresh water that's often murky. While they can actually see quite well with their eyes, in cloudy water, they have to rely on sonar, also known as echolocation, to navigate and to find food. This is a species of dolphin which communicates at very high frequency, way beyond our own ability to hear. To find out more about the boto, the Ocean Adventures team visited biologists Vera da Silva and Tony Martin in the Mamirawa Reserve. So how does that echolocation work? What happens is that they, they make the sound and it's focused through the, the melon which is on the top there, but it's received along here. And that's one of the big advantages of having a, a long lower jaw. And actually this part of the jaw um, is parabolic in shape, so it oh. then focuses the received sound to the inner ear, which is here. Mm. And that's how the animals have such a sensitive hearing, because uh, they, they've got all of this length of bone to pick up the reverberations. Huh. So they're hearing through their, well not hearing, are they well, hearing through their jaw? Hearing through the jaw, right here, yeah. Wow. wow. Botos have a particular adaptation that makes their sonar more effective in murky water. They swing their heads from side to side, relying on a very flexible neck to figure out their surroundings. They also have very long beaks that allow them to root around for prey among the trunks of submerged trees and flooded forests. While in many parts of the world, food is an issue for dolphins, in the Amazon, dolphin food is plentiful. They're called generalist feeders, meaning they're not picky. They eat over 50 species of small fish, including catfish. Let me show you the... As Vera da Silva explains, Boto's teeth are far sharper than those of most other dolphins. Only with teeth like these can Boto's eat prickly, bony catfish. They have the front ones, these are conic, to uh, grab the fish, and the back ones that have this depression here mm -hmm. and oh, really? sort of cusp it to crash. So this crushes the bones, this is just for grabbing the fish? Not the, only the bones, but the lots of um, uh, fish they eat, it's, we call armored fish, they have a very hard shell mm. outside mm -hmm. and they crack it. So it's, and also uh, uh, catfish have these uh, big spines in the dorsal yeah. fin and the pectoral fins as well, so they, they need to break it to swallow. Do they really swallow the whole, I mean, all those bones go through the digestive tract? Yes, they yes. certainly do. That's amazing. And, and like uh, most dolphins, um, they're able to regurgitate if they need to. So oh, really? whatever they can't digest, yeah, they can throw up later. And that's okay. all dolphin, dolphins and, and, uh, and sperm whale, for example, does really? that, yeah. Huh. Back in the water, Ocean Adventures team members go for a dip with the botos. While it's fun, they're also keenly aware of those remarkable teeth. <laughs> Wasn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. How many do you think we uh, had? I don't know. Sometimes there were three, sometimes there were two, and that one that finally said, forget it, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I was like, well, he's going to take a finger. I mean, I would feel them through my legs, all around me, before I'd even see them come right up in front of my yep, eyes. Yep, yep. And they feel so rubbery. They're so rubbery. <laughs> so thick. Yeah. yeah. Powerful, too. Oh, extremely powerful. I mean, you kind of have to, I mean, you're having fun, but then you also kind of, like, got to really respect their strength. They're very gentle. They knew that, indeed, I did not have any fish in my hand, so I have no bite marks. I've got all my fingers here. And for selfish reasons, what a great reason to be in the water in the Amazon here in the Rio Negro and swimming with one of the few river dolphins that we're gonna see. Beautiful. 